In any case, you want to detect when an intrusion has occurred. So there are many technical controls that we refer to as intrusion detection. Now one simple type of intrusion detection control is actually a physical access control. And that is, if a security guard watches someone who's unauthorized run into a room, he can go, hey, I detect an intrusion. But more often than not, we're referring to automated systems that recognize unusual activity and sound some sort of an alarm. Now, the intrusion detection system can either use a signature database, so if they see certain activity that matches an intrusion signature, they'll trigger the alarm. Or you can have intrusion detection systems that monitor behavior and realize, you know, this particular port only gets about 300 hits an hour, and now I'm getting 4,500 hits this hour. Something's not quite right. So he triggers an alarm and asks a human to come look at it and figure out what's going on. In any case, you want to make sure that you're maintaining your audit trails and access logs. Every time an authorized user, or really any user, accesses a secure device, you need to scribble it in a notepad somewhere. Chances are it's going to be automatically maintained, but if you're not using automated security controls in some areas, you want to make sure that a person puts an entry in a logbook. The method of tracking a movement of a person, or the movement of a person, is through the use of tracking what resources they're accessing. One of the nice things about smart cards is that in the process of authenticating the user, he can log the fact that that user has accessed a particular secure area and gives you extensive automatic audit trails.